Welcome, Cy Rodriguez here on the Organic Adventure Show with another 30-day challenge inspired by my recent other challenges. One, getting up at 6 a.m. 6 a. every morning. Two, only allowing myself to have tea one time per day. And the new challenge, 30 days without watching specific programming now this is a big one I've already started it but I am going to continue it for another 30 days as of the day that you're watching this video so you could count from the day that you see this video was posted to the time 30 days and that's going to be the time that this challenge is going to end and I would like to continue this on some level and there are reasons I'm doing this challenge so First of all, why would I want to quit watching TV and Netflix and Amazon Prime programming? Now, I haven't watched TV for a long time, meaning like I haven't actually had a TV. But over time, as you know, there's been more and more ways that you could actually become absorbed in entertainment of all kinds. Um, because of the internet. So I've realized that it has become a problem for me because I'm spending too much time doing it. And I knew that I was escaping a little too much, to put it lightly. So my purpose is to help myself and to inspire you to positive changes or no, to positive challenges to improve your life or lifestyle. So that's part of my whole overall purpose in doing this. But it's definitely also so that I can face whatever it is that I'm trying to escape from and be more productive in life and actually do more meaningful things, things that actually make a difference in my life or my kids' life or the people around me um, instead of just wasting time on meaningless entertainment. So there are some caveats here. I mean, the general idea was is that I'm gonna go 30 days with no TV, but I'm definitely making caveats because um, it's hard enough and I've already been doing this for a few days and it really is shocking to me how hard it has been to be doing this along with not having tea. It's like whenever I want to run to escape, I have to think of something else to do. And some good changes have already come out of that, but starting today an additional 30 days on that so what i will not do is i won't watch any amazon prime i won't watch any netflix and i won't watch any tv even though i don't have a tv here um the exceptions and i'm not going to just watch random types of entertainment on youtube so here are the exceptions i'm gonna allow myself if i want to watch an educational dvd to watch educational YouTube or in my specific niche YouTube stuff <laughs> people who I follow based upon the types of niches that I'm interested in so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time doing that and I really haven't spent any time since I started this challenge doing that for the most part but I am allowing myself to look at those things and I'm also allowing myself to watch a movie if my wife or my kids ask me to watch something with them and that's hardly ever happens I'm usually the one that initiates it but I decided that I don't want to isolate myself from people any more than I already do I almost always watch these programming like Netflix Amazon kind of stuff on my own without anybody else and it separates me from people and so if somebody wants to watch a program with me I'm going to be open to that for this 30 days even and then after the 30 days I'll reevaluate whether or not um, or just about how much I'm gonna allow myself to actually and in, be involved watching programming of these especially like Amazon Netflix type programming um, of any kind but for now I'm gonna be very strict about not doing any of that and I also let's see if there's anything else I wanted to tell you specifically about this okay so something that we can justify as educational and when my kids ask me if they want to watch some stupid entertainment on YouTube I'm definitely not going to reject them about that either so 
That being said, I've already began to have this experience. It's inspiring in one way, but I literally have felt like I was next to losing my mind a couple times and became violent, not towards people, but um, in a way where I was so angry and easily angered for things that I normally deal with better. And I think it's because of all of the change that I really damaged the chair that I'm sitting on by slamming it against the ground. And um, I was, I mean, literally like I struggled with this, especially over this last weekend when I spend more time doing stuff like entertainment stuff. So I am glad that I have been doing it anyway. And I feel inspired because I realize that I've cornered myself as a result of restricting so many things and it is challenging me to do what is more meaningful and even to do things that I stop doing that I like to do more often. For example, I got back, I, I went and rode my unicycle the other day that I pretty much haven't ridden in many years um, and it took me a few minutes to get started on it and maybe I rode it for an hour trying to get good at it again but the bottom line is is that it got me doing something else <laughs> it got me doing more physical stuff I was outdoors more um, and it also is just a good feeling to know that you're not being so heavily influenced by programming both TV programs like even Amazon TV programming where there is a basic programming that may be more subtle and not as obvious as like news programming which is the other side and advertisement programming but the the kind of programming that is subtle I'm talking about is the one or the kind of programming that's in your TV programs and they get you used to things like get you used to accepting this get you used to like agreeing with these things that maybe you don't normally agree with by exposing you to them over and over again and get you kind of thinking in a certain way and if that's something that you're not open to um, or that you don't believe I understand but from my experience over time I do believe that even in just TV and movies there's heavy programming it's just much more subtle than the news so to be able to just be away from that even more and be more creative about how I spend my time I think that is going to be a good thing even in spite of the fact that I've literally almost lost my mind several times in the last four or five days that I've been doing this so far I think it's good and I'm gonna keep you posted and updated on this and I challenge you to do something something anything that is going to get you a little out of your comfort zone that's going to help you in your life that's going to challenge you to do something better something that you want to do that you wanted to do to stop putting it off what can you do to get yourself to be more on that path doing what it is that you like so if you have any thoughts you want to share with me please do I'd be happy to hear those and I'm gonna go ahead and leave you with that my name is Cy again and I look forward to seeing you in the next video